What does it mean to you to live? Samurai Gourmet is a show about an old little Japanese man named Takeshi Kasumi and his adventures as a recently retired company worker. His life up until this point in time has been devoted to his work, and he has gone through most of his adult life essentially on autopilot. The show begins with the awakening of not only a new chapter of his life, but with the birth of a spiritual guidance of a noble samurai. I watched Samurai Gourmet when it was new on Netflix many, many years ago, and even though I thoroughly enjoyed it, I didn't really appreciate the message that I believe that lies at the heart of the show. But now, as a 31-year-old, <clears throat> I think that I have found a new appreciation for Samurai Gourmet. One that resonated with me deeply and left me putting into the pantheon of media that I find so good that I will not spoil it by watching it or experiencing it often. And I think the answer to the question that I posed to you earlier, and the one that I think that Samurai Gourmet fully believes in, is live the life that matters the most to you. Each episode of Samurai presents a slice of life. A normal day in the shoes of the shy and reserved Takeshi Kasumi. Each episode revolves around Takeshi and a single meal that he has throughout his day. This concept as an idea is pretty plain, pretty bland, lacking any real meat, seasoning, or hearty flavors. There is a surface level sprinkling of spices among the show's episodes which is simply the happiness that Takeshi radiates on the screen. Watching this man enjoy each meal he has literally never gets boring. His enthusiasm for food is infectious and you'll find yourself grinning from ear to ear while watching him enjoy every meal. And I mean, to be honest, if the only thing that you took away from Samurai Gourmet was this joyous old man eating, I wouldn't blame you. Despite making essentially the same face every single episode as he relishes the varied flavors of each dish that he eats, you can't help but feel invigorated about the finer details of life. The cheese added to some spaghetti noodles adds a much needed kick. The drizzle of sauce over a croquette, the pairing of beer and spicy miso pork, and the balance of flavor of a beef stew topped with onions. But where the real savory juices of flavor lie are in the themes of the show. Well, yes, the show is obviously focused on food. The real point of the show is the personal achievements and frequent moments of reflective nostalgia on a life lived. See, Takeshi isn't really the man that he truly wants to be, and the show's stories frequently revolve around this dilemma that he experiences in his day-to-day -day life. Being unable to feel free to enjoy a beer at lunch, confidently confronting a family member, telling an annoying patron that they're being so, and being just slightly more adventurous. Each episode in the heat of these uncomfortable situations, our boy Takeshi finds himself in, he imagines a lone, wandering samurai that deals with every scenario the way, well, a lone, wandering samurai would, which is not dealing with anyone's shit confidently being who he is and living the life that he wants to live. We all have someone that we strive to be, whether it's a personal hero or just a more idealized version of yourself or anything else in between that. What resonates with me so much about Samurai Gourmet is this concept of Takeshi's titular samurai. I often find myself in situations where I feel like I should be dealing with the situation in a different manner than I am. And what's so relatable about this show is that they're never that much more different or that much more intense than the scenarios that I experience. We all have these moments in our life where we imagine ourselves doing the thing that we feel would be the right thing to do. But despite knowing and feeling that it would be correct or proper or hell, just even cool, it's often hard to overcome the boundary of society or our own personal boundaries. Takeshi's journey is our own. He is struggling with his newfound freedom in the sense that now he can do whatever he wants, 
he has to unlearn some of the mannerisms that he's adjusted to from being a workaholic company man. But the samurai character is a wonderfully wholesome way to show you how he's overcoming these insecurities, these social walls. And the genius inside of the shell that is Samurai Gourmet is that he doesn't always succeed. Just like you and me, Takeshi doesn't have the courage to actually stand up to a terrible waitress, or fully commit to standing up to a gruff chef who is being an asshole to tourists. Seeing Takeshi deal with these situations makes him immediately relatable, and witnessing this relatively consistent failure to succeed in every occasion, it makes you connect with him on a level unlike many shows that portray a lifestyle or a character similar to Takeshi. Right out of the gate, Samurai Gourmet is an incredibly wholesome show, and that alone would make it a show worth watching. But the thing that I think truly makes the show special is the implication of what each meal can represent to Takeshi. Memories. Food, very much like music, is deeply interlinked in our mind with memories. What is a simple meal with family or friends can be reflected on and triggered by while having a similar meal later on in life, recalling that memory with details that would never have been there otherwise. The smell of the ocean, the sensation of the floor you sit on, recalling the feeling of youthful freedom is still confined by the trappings of your age. While not presented in every single meal of the show, the majority of Takeshi's tasty treats are accompanied by either a recollection, visual or otherwise, of a time of his youth, but what isn't necessarily obvious is that every single meal is a new memory being born. One that he'll look back on when he's older still. Samurai Gourmet underneath the happy and joyous sensation of flavor lies a really deep and meaningful take of rekindling what makes you human, what makes you feel alive, finding who you are and who you want to be, and I think that is a message worth preaching and consuming. In the end, what matters most is that you make the best of the time you're living now. And be sure to make each meal one worth remembering. You'll never know when you'll think back on that perfect dish with friends and smile. Hello. I know this video was like a little bit shorter than what I normally tend to do, but as it is a single season show and there's not a whole lot of content really in it, the, and the whole show was kind of really more about like feeling what's happening on screen than really like understanding a story with like a lot of deep narratives and stuff. I kind of figured that this one would have to be a little bit short, so I tried to make sure the script was emotionally impactful in the same way that I think the show is. Next month's video will be more standard, I think. And then I have a couple ideas for the videos after that. So hopefully uh, I'll get around to doing those soon. But in the meantime, I love your face. I love your show. Tomato is a fruit, but it's also a vegetable.